Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe. Welcome to Short Term Trading Live with Oscar's Weekend Webinar. This video, traders, is our 718th YouTube video, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This weekend webinar is to teach you about technical analysis of the futures market and, of course, the stock indices market. What I'm going to show you in this video should help you stay in focus with what is coming next in the pricing of our stock market, our commodities, and or the world indexes. Traders, futures trading is extremely risky and can cause substantial financial loss. It takes a lot of hours of work every day, staring at charts, doing your homework, reading the papers. It is not an easy game. Lots of people lose money if you think you're just going to use these techniques and automatically win. I think that you're barking up the wrong tree here. Listen, it takes a lot of work to get this right, but you can absolutely do it. I have proven time after time that the charts are absolutely your roadmap to future pricing. And if you read them correctly, which I will teach you in these videos, you will do much better with your trading. Um, traders, listen up. What's in this video tonight? First of all, it's being filmed on Sunday. It's for trading Sunday through Monday. That's April 11th, 2011. This video is probably dated for a little longer than that, but we are day traders and we'll use this for at least Sunday through Monday. What's on the board? Flat tops produce market drops. Traders, that's the first thing I'm going to tell you. It is an Omni Trading Academy rule. It's an Oscarism, if you will. It is something I live by. Flat tops on your chart produce market drops in the indices. I will show that to you on some charts. This weekend webinar's got a few decent charts. I think you're going to like to see them. On the board, do you remember? Crude oil, you know that wild card, the joker, the crude oil? Yeah, there he is right now, listen. Crude oil is still the wild card. That's right, the wild card. Crude oil is absolutely what's giving us our flat top, which will likely produce the market drop. And I am here to say one more thing to you. No matter what comes our way, if it's a flat top and we start to drop, do not fall in love with the downside here. Listen, do not fall in love with it. You know what? A little... A little peck on the cheek for the next day or two is probably not going to hurt you. But do not marry the downside, and here is why. As we know that crude oil is the wild card. We know that crude oil going too high, especially once it's above 110, like it got above 110 on Friday, it starts to push our stock markets down. But if you recall this in 2008, last time crude had a spike above 110, we had a failing derivatives market. In fact, it was a collapsing derivatives market. Our real estate was falling out of bed. The world was in a panic. Banks were going bankrupt. So were car companies. And we had the price of crude skyrocketing. So it knocked our markets down fast and furious. On this time around, I think that the crude going higher can get past 110, 115 without doing severe damage to our stock market. It's probably once it gets above 120, 125 this time around, that it will really hang us a little bit. But for now, here's what's going on out there, short-term trading. Flat top most likely will make the stock market go lower. Why is that happening? Almost exclusively because the crude oil is getting too high. But again, I would not fall in love with the downside. Yes, a pullback may happen because of the high price of crude. Do not fall in love with that. Keep your eyes focused on the larger picture here, which is much higher before this year, 2011, is over. That's in the stock market. All right, traders. So, weekend webinar. Lots of charts coming your way. I see you holding that up, Mike, so I'll say it now. Traders, we have upgraded our upgrade system on our site. And you can upgrade to be a gold or platinum member at our site. For a monthly fee, we will give you direct trading signals where to buy, where to sell, where to exit if you have your profit, where to place your stop if, in fact, it's a losing trade. These are signals that will come out to you immediately. They have alerts on them to make you aware that we're trading. So if you'd like to trade with the Omni, upgrade to gold or platinum membership when you get to my site. For now, do this. Come to my site. Don't trade alone. It's livewithoscar.com. Come into my chat rooms where I will teach you how to read the charts like you are about to see right now. With no further ado, let's go look at some charts.
Okay, traders, the first chart you are looking at this evening in the weekend webinar is the leader of U.S. indices, the Dow Jones Transportation Average. Now, of course, for you fans who have been watching my videos, this is a very familiar chart. But the point behind this chart is this. We used our 65% false breakout rule, knowing the market would go higher to follow the market higher, and we followed the S&P higher, and we called that perfectly. The technique worked. The transportation average breaking out took the S&P with it, and we had a nice couple of weeks rally. Now, coming into Wednesday last week, the Omni started to turn bearish right about on this day right here, and the market seemed to turn bearish as well. Following the Dow Jones Transportation Average, the leader, which now that it's had its move out of the pennant and it ran into what's now known as resistance, it started to fail and it started to flag sell signals. And we followed it right down and look at the crack that we just seen, traders. Boom, all the way down to here. So the leader is starting to backpedal a little and almost on target the day crude gets above 110, the leader starts to backpedal. Where have you heard that number before? Crude hits 110, we start to come off. But what I want to do now is show you that this trend line here that we're calling resistance is a very important trend line because I'm going to now blow this chart up for you. I should say zoom out for you so that you can see how far back this trend line goes. Let's take a look. Trend is the U.S. leader once again, very same chart, now just zoomed out a little bit. This trend line is very important. It goes from back here all the way through here, hits all of these lows. Then look at the size move when we break through it. A big, big breakdown takes place. Could not get above it, could not get above it. We finally rally up to it and fail at it and work our way back down. This is a major resistance line right now, and it is helping the market move lower. And, of course, just on time for crude to hit 110 right at that spot. So you know it's very interesting how analysis all seems to work together. Even though you're looking at analysis in separate markets like crude oil and the Dow Jones Transportation Average, the tranny hits a resistance level right as crude reaches a level that we'd expect the tranny to have trouble. And voila, there's a technical reason for it. The fundamentals always come out in the charts first. Let's continue looking. We have some pretty charts here for you, traders. Next on the block is the Russell, one of our leaders right behind the transportation average with the NASDAQ. The Russell has fallen out of its wonderful parallel channel that it, was, that it was in. It has broken down, and it looks bearish for trading Sunday through Monday. So now you see the leaders are looking bearish. Let's look at another chart here. Traders, here is the theme of this video. Flat tops produce market drops. Dow Jones Industrial Average bar chart. Flat top meaning for some reason the market hits a price and stops going up and comes back down. Next day hits that price, hits that price, and then gets close to that price every couple of days, creating a flat top. When we got one here, the market did drop. Another flat top, the market drops. A flat top here, the market drops. Another flat top, and the market drops. A flat top here, the market drops. Is this a flat top we're experiencing right now? I think the price of crude going higher puts pressure on the market. That will be a flat top. It is the end result of what we're seeing here. Technically, that is what I'm seeing. But traders, there's more than one way to look at this chart. I want you to remember, do not fall in love with the downside, and this is why. Remember, this looks very bearish right now, correct? Flat tops give you market drops. Here's a flat top, market drop. We have a flat top. Most likely, it will produce a market drop. But I do not want you to fall in love with the downside for a reason, and here it is. Reason. Look at the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Once again, it's the very same chart. However, on this chart, what you'll note is that it's actually an inverted head and shoulders and the market tested and held the Omni average. Traders, overall, as we go past the next couple of weeks, this is very bullish. That formation is bullish. It is called an inverted head and shoulders. It is a bullish formation. Almost always you can get a calculation off of it, which will happen 90% of the time. This is the calculation that the Dow Jones Industrial Average should get to based on this bullish formation. However... Crude oil being the wild card is probably going to stall this action for a while and eventually we'll get our up move. Now, I'd like to prove to you that this inverted head and shoulders is a bullish formation and I can do that very simply by showing you the next chart on my page. This is crude oil. 
This is a chart I showed to my audience, to my Omniacs back at my site on March 30th, 2011. I said, look, we have an inverted head and shoulders in crude, and I gave them a projection right here. This happened live a week and a half ago. On Friday, the market went all the way up and tagged our projection, exactly what we thought what would happen. The projection came from the inverted head and shoulders. So you've seen the inverted head and shoulders in the Dow Jones Industrial Average, and you see that the crude oil had one, and what the technique means is that the market should go higher. Well, if that's the case, Look at the NASDAQ, inverted head and shoulders, held the on the average overall, and has a bullish flag. Do you know what the projection is? It's all the way up here if the NASDAQ moves higher. But again, it will not go higher with the crude moving higher, so we are probably going to have to take a little pullback. But this technique will work in the end. Do not fall in love with the downside. Let's look at another chart here. Traders, it is one after the next after the next. Now, E-mini S&P, inverted head and shoulders, really held the Omni average very well down here and is poised to move all the way up here to our target area. Once again, I do not think it comes because crude oil is still the wild card here. It will happen. Do not fall in love with the downside. These are your reasons why. This is a continuation pattern to move higher. But, of course, we have to climb that wall of high crude prices. The world will get used to crude above 110, and we will move higher, but not without a stall first. So do not fall in love with the downside traders. You've seen what happens with the crude oil inverted head and shoulders. You should get that in your indices. Now, here's that wild card once again. Here's where the problem lies. Traders, another chart I showed you in several videos leading up to this video. I have been telling you that if the price of the crude moves above 100 and then gets above 110, the stock market will feel the pain. Well, this chart shows crude back from 2008. Right here during this period, crude for the first time hits $100 a barrel. We put in our all-time highs of 15.77. Just a few weeks later, right here, crude puts in a 110 price. The S&P was all the way here at that point. That dropped from 15.77 to the 12.50s. When the crude got above 110, by the time crude hit 147, we were at 666. The blue is the stock market. The green is crude. Now that our crude price has hit 114, you must expect that the S&P will feel some pressure. Again, I do not think it will feel as great of pressure until we get above 120. However, you will see pressure. You are seeing it now. There is a flat top of the S&P. These things do not materialize for no reason. The fundamental you are seeing on the chart in the S&P is that price right there in crude oil, which leads me to my final chart. Well, almost my final chart. Let me show you one thing first, and then the final chart will make you understand why we are shorting the S&P for Sunday through Monday. Look at the crude oil on a daily bar chart. It's in a wonderful new parallel channel that's been created. There is a secondary parallel channel. If you just took out the secondary parallel channel and hit the resistance there, it takes you above 115 just to stay inside the red channel. If you touch the top of the blue channel, you're hitting 117.50 to 118. Traders, that's a very bullish looking chart. If it's bullish crude at these levels, past 100 and past 110, it is bearish S&P taking me to this final chart, which tells me to tell you this will be the end result. It will be a flat top. It will produce a market drop. But do not fall in love with the downside. We will come off, but you will find support down here and buyers to join you. I will certainly signal you when Omni thinks it's a buy. But if it does come off, do not fall in love with the downside. Stay short for a few days and then look for a place to get back in this thing. Again, we will get used to the higher price of crude. People will live with it, but there will be a little shock coming our way. And I think we'll feel it in the next couple of days. Traders. Pull your own charts, do your own homework, take a look for your flat tops in the industrial average and the other U.S. indices. Look at the crude and compare the two. I think you will get my point here. So, traders, you've seen the charts. There is my technical argument for the Red Omni on the board for the stock market, the U.S. indices. Flat tops produce market drops. If you would like to learn how to read the charts the way I'm showing you in this weekend webinar, simply fill out an Omnicamp application. 
We are holding a four-day training session right here in Vegas, live with me, and I will teach you how to read those graphs the way I read them, how to understand to create a trading plan, how to plan the trade, then trade the plan, and get your emotions out of this thing. I will teach that to you live here in Vegas. If you want to join me, fill out the OmniCamp application right at my site, and I will call you back and see if you qualify. Trader seats are already going. There are only three left, three or four. I'm not sure one's on the fence, but they're going quickly. So send in your applications. Not everyone that sends in an application will be qualified. You need to qualify to spend four days in Vegas with me. You know, so fill out the apps. Let me call you and we'll go from there. Guys, anything that I need to speak about in the beginning of this week? It's going to be a great week. These markets are going to rock and roll. Traders Omni was so on last week. I don't even want to go there and jinx anything, but... Boy, oh boy, I think we batted 100% last week. Shh, let's see what happens this week. You know, you're only as good as your last trade here. But Omni was really on last week. I think it's right in time this week so far. The analysis I did Sunday looks dead on with what I expect to happen. We'll see. Follow the Omni. Follow that bouncing ball. We'll see where it takes us. Again, remember, do not fall in love with the downside traders. It's okay if we come off a little bit. But don't fall in love with the downside, okay? Whatever you do, write it down a little bit and then start looking at the charts long term and seeing where maybe you'd want to pick up a scoop for the way back up. Now, we could end up dropping a little bit here below 1280, below 1250, below 1220. I don't know what we're going to get. It is really based on the our wild card. It's based on crude oil. If crude comes off even a little bit, the S&P will skyrocket, traders. Now, listen. Our dollar heading down is going to continue to give buoyancy to our stock market. Our dollar going down is making currencies around this world go up. And you know what that means? Our exports look wonderful. Our stocks look cheap. The international community is going to flood their money into the United States. Because you know what? Even the price of gasoline is not going up as dramatically for the rest of the world as it is for us because it's priced in dollars. And our dollar is going down and your currencies are priced in dollars. And if our dollar is going down, your currency is going up. You can afford to buy our products and our stocks. And that is what is going on here. Fed, so far, round of applause, baby. Bravo to the Fed. Traders, you may hate me, but I have been telling my Omniac for three straight years. The moment the Fed stepped out and started to bail us out, I watched their actions, said this in many videos, you will all hail the Fed as heroes a few years down the road. Now, we were smashing down towards 666 or maybe down there when I started doing videos like that, right? When the Fed stepped up to help. So I am not backseat driving. I am sticking to my guns on that. I have a call on the board right here, 1650 in the S&P this year. That call is still very valid. We absolutely expect the S&P to make it there sometime in 2011. So long term, we are bullish. Long term, the dollar moving down is bullish stock market. Traders, listen, the Fed pushed the dollars down. The Fed is increasing liquidity and has for quite some time. The Fed has the same tools to rein back that liquidity. The Fed has tools to do many things. The Fed has tools to intervene in currencies, which they do quite often. Well, not that they do quite often, but they do what they need to. And you know what? Brings me around to crude oil once again, traders. I've been telling you we need the speculators out of crude oil. I'm reading in the papers this weekend. There's more specs jumping in now than ever before. I've been warning you and warning you about this. Now crude oil is above 110, and our stock market is starting to feel it already. And you're going to see the specs come jumping in even more. This is a problem for us. And as soon as the crude pulls back down, our stock market goes right back up. But until then, we are captive to the high price of crude. Now, if the supply is still being pumped and demand is not growing exponentially, why is the price growing? It's growing way faster than the dollar coming off. So it's not the dollars coming off making the crude higher. It is the speculators who are going to run in our economy. So you're going to have to worry about the downside for a little while until the crude backs off. One last thing about that. The best cure for high prices when in a commodity is high prices. At some point, crude is going to price itself out. Demand will pull back. The price of crude will drop. And on our way, we'll go to make the 1650 projection. 
Rough road, bumpy road ahead. Buckle up those seatbelts. Put your stops in. Keep your emotions out of trading. One of the best ways you can help yourselves with that is say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening. And you know what that is. Stop sorry. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided.